So I'm going to do a story time today, and it will be a quick one so that you guys can see what I'm looking like currently. And y'all don't have to be in the past, because a lot of my vlogs are ood. Um, and I got some spicy things coming up for y'all, too. Like, I got robbed by this girl that I knew. I'm going to go into detail with it. My face is breaking out. I'm about to be on my period. So I had a photo shoot today. I did some light makeup, put a little glitter on the eye, you know. And anyhow, today, <gasps> I'm going to get to the photo shoot. I was told by somebody I didn't even know that I was going to get smacked because of an association with a girl that got into an altercation with someone else or their parent or something. I don't know. She was a grown woman. She's a mother, actually. And I, I don't even know whether to say she's my friend or not. Because if I'm being, like, if I'm going inside of a story and I'm being told by someone that I don't know that they're going to slap the mess out of me because of something that you got going on with this person. And when I talk to you on the phone, you telling me you can't go, not even can't, you won't go into detail about the situation. But I'm giving you a heads up that old girl going to smack you. Because, like, I told her, ain't nobody going to smack me, baby girl. I don't, don't let this cute face fool you. Um, so my whole thing is, like, what type of friend are you to be bringing me into drama like this? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, myself, have enough of drama that I don't even start on my own. But I got it. Okay? So my thing is, I got to check that friendship at the door. Is good, boo. It was a good run, but you know, mm, there was a situation where she did give me a heads up on something, but it's like she, even when she was giving me a heads up, she would not let me explain myself like all the way. So to me, you don't gotta explain yourself to no one, you don't gotta divulge. She did say thank you for giving her the heads up. But in the end, why are random people coming up to me because of something that you have going on and talking about smacking the dog mess out of me? I got to side eye that friendship. You know, um, moving forward, honey. Yes, boo, I have a photo shoot today. And I, 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 I killed it. I mean... What is going on with my bed? No wonder my back is hurting. My bed ain't even on the frame. Like, huh? I'm trying to move some things around. And it's so hard when you ain't got a man at six foot, 200 and something pounds, so almost. I miss that boy and his muscles. But I don't miss, you know. I just don't miss the way he treated me towards the end of the relationship. But that was a pretty good relationship. Besides some other things. I got a crust on the side of my mouth. Why y'all ain't tell me? Dang. But I'm just looking around at my room and I'm thinking, ooh, Lord, honey. Why do I not have any cold water in the fridge? But I, I can't drink cold water because this tooth right here. Uh-uh. Yeah. Um, your girl got to take care of her teeth, so, <laughs> yeah. Oh, my temporary crown came off, and I got to get my wisdom teeth pulled out, so. Y'all let me know how that went for y'all that have had that procedure done. <laughs> because if it ain't broke, honey, don't what? <laughs> Damn, fix it. Anyways, I don't know if y'all like this sorry that was ghetto but i don't know if y'all liking it i rush my lace from today so you can totally see the lace like just right there and i think yeah pretty natural for the most part though i mean we know it's a wig but it don't look wiggish it look more like i don't even feel like i don't really get I get more, I get really like, 
Ooh, I don't know. I get very seductive vibes from this. Like, I don't know. Not seductive. I get chic, girly, um, it girl, auntie vibes. Um, not so much Whitney Houston. More like a Halle Berry type of feel. Or a, I don't want to say, I don't want to say Kelly Rowland. Um, ooh, you see it. And if y'all want to know how I started to learn how to do these laces, I hate the way I talk now. If you guys want to know how I, seriously, I should have got made this thing longer. If you guys want to, <laughs> if you guys want to learn how I did this lace front, and you know, it ain't nothing, you know, like I'm not about to pay nobody four or five hundred dollars to do something close to this and it's just coming up because i didn't feel like gluing it down because like i'm not gonna lie y'all i took one of those like weight gain pills last night before i went to sleep honey my my uh stomach maybe i didn't see that Y'all can, I got this pimple. Y'all can see it, but that's really all I got for you today. Like I said, get into it, boo. Get into it. Now this side over here, I ain't repping for that side. Okay, this was the better side the first time I did it, but I um couldn't get this baby hair right right here. So we just kind of skimmed over it. And then something right here, my, my wig cap was coming up, so it's like kind of bumpy. But I figured nobody would really see it or be paying attention that hard. Like, you can see right here and, you know, so. I feel like my mom used to wear her hair like this a lot. And the silver, like, I like white, but white always make me look like a crackhead. So I did silver. Light, like glitter. I just want y'all to see the photos because the way I look currently looks like all day entire tiny boo-boo child. I'm doing anything to avoid uh, throwing stuff away in my house because I'm having like... Um, I'm having like anxiety throwing away a lot of stuff in my house because of some things that I just can't talk about right now. And I wish I could talk to you guys about it, but once it manifests, then I will definitely talk to y'all about it. But until then, unfortunately, I just hate to have to be like this, but I think I just have to be this way because of just some things that have transpired recently and not even just recently just opening my eyes to so much um making myself aware of everything though I think that I'm just this person that no one is thinking about or this or that it turns out that a lot of other people are thinking about me and they're not having safe thoughts while thinking about me and it has nothing to do with me as far as like making them feel this way as far as like like in a bad way it's more like an obsession that multiple people have with me. And it's starting to be unsafe. Like, I'm going to do a whole video on it. I've taken some screenshots of some weirdos. And I'm going to expose a lot of weirdos. Because in the end, y'all are weird. And y'all be asking me some weird questions. Like, one of the things that I will... I will say this. One of the things that I will talk about in the video mainly is going to be when people message me. And they ask me things like, where am I? I don't even got to make a video on this. Stop asking me that. Like, for real. Don't ask me that at all. Y'all don't even have my number. So what are you doing asking me things like, where am I at? Or like going off on me like, oh, you you saw my message. You Yes, I did read your message. And the last, like this one dude straight up asked me if I was a dude. 
I mean, I know I got a skinny neck and stuff, but dang. I don't got boobage, but I'm very much giving women womanly body vibes even without like and then he persisted to hit me up like were you looking for like a situation other than me being a woman I don't know but I'm all women down here and sometimes I wish I could just throw this monkey on this dang on camera because that was vulgar I know but it's very like much an insult and I know straight heterosexual men that y'all just want to make sure but think as well of a way to say it that don't offend natural born women i am a natural born woman i have nothing against anybody else and what they choose so i can only speak as a natural born woman with that being said, nobody finna come up on here talking that stuff about your LGBT community. Because at the end of the day, I have rights, I have feelings, and I can advocate and communicate that. I'm not putting no one down, but what I am saying is with there being an increase of more women, uh, I feel as though heterosexual women we're losing out on some of the things in our rights, period. Like, the right to, like, first of all, to even ask a woman if she's a woman, do you know how, like, insulting that is to her feminine, you know, aspects? Like, even spiritually, her feminine energy. Like, that's like asking a woman if she's pregnant and she's not pregnant. Like, what? No, I'm not pregnant. No, I'm not a man. And that is just a pet peeve of mine because I think I be meeting a lot of, like, you know, people who are into some other things. And those things are what they're into. And I feel like I got a booger. I did not. Dang, I'd be so disappointed when I don't have boogers. And um, anyways, we're going to get off the subject of sexuality because there's a lot of sensitive people that um, cannot handle talking about um, acknowledging people rights if we're going to acknowledge one person rights we need to acknowledge everybody rights thought I heard someone in my house shouldn't love bang bang anyways moving forward that will conclude today's vlog um, it is going horrible with HelloFresh I just don't got the time to be sitting here cooking. Maybe when I get uh, into like a better like energy space, it'll work out. I got a lot of clothes right now that I'm trying to go through and downsize. Bro, I really want there to be a booger here and there is not. There is not a booger there. There is a booger in my nose though, bro. I know it. It's a booger or it's a nose here. I'm about to go wash my hands, of course, but oh my gosh. And it's not a booger. It's really like the scar tissue that be in my nose. It be itching me like that. Oh, there go. No, not booger, but right here. I don't know if you see that. Like right there. That's my nose. It's sewn down to my face like that. So it be itchy sometimes. And I be thinking it's a booger because that's how I be feeling. But actually, the more I've been doing this, it's actually been going down. Like sometimes like it will, yeah, poke out. There is no booger in my nose. Y'all just watch me pick my nose. Anyways, I got pimples, this, that, the third. Like, comment, rate, and what? Subscribe. If you want to see the videos, go ahead and add me on my Instagram down below. Don't be a weirdo. Do not ask me where I'm at because I will block you instantly. Anyways, have a good day. Peace, love, and hair grease.